What's up guys, Justin here with the CGEssentials.com back with another Blender architectural modeling tutorial for you. So in today's video we're going to talk about the best way to use the add-on Archipack Pro in order to draw walls inside of Blender. So this is a tool that's very that's very helpful for creating architectural elements like walls and doors and other things like that. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So remember with Archipack there's two different versions of the add-on. So there's the free version and the pro version. This particular tutorial is created with the pro version. I'm not 100% clear on what the difference is between the two when it comes to the tools we're using in today's video. So just know if you are using the free version, things might be a little bit different because we are going to use that pro version. And I will link to this features page in the notes down below so you can see the difference between the two versions. All right, so what we've talked about in the past is we've talked about adding walls in Archipack by doing a shift A and then inside of Archipack, adding a wall like this, right? And then we've talked about how you can adjust the distance here by either typing in values or dragging this to different lengths. Well, in this video, what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna talk about how to use the draw walls tool in order to quickly draw walls inside of your model. Um, one thing that you're gonna find helpful is first off, go in and set your units to whatever you want those to be, including the length factor. So for me, I've set mine to imperial feet. But then the other thing that I find helpful is turning on my snapping to my increment and setting it to the grid snap. And so what that's gonna do is that's gonna snap this to the increments of your grid, meaning you can be a little bit more precise with your lengths. And so one thing, and so now let's add our first wall. So to do that, we're just gonna do a shift A we're gonna add an Archipack mesh. And in this case, we wanna add using the draw wall function. And so what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow us to select a wall type. So in this case, I'm gonna select this 10 by 240. And notice how you get this little axis in here. And notice how it's snapping. So it's snapping because we turned on this grid snapping up here. But all you need to do now is just click and drag in order to place a wall. So in this case, for example, if I wanted to create a 12 foot long wall, I could click and drag this to 12 feet. And notice how this is adjustable after the fact. So if you wanted this to be like 14 feet, you can just click on it and type in 14 feet and hit the enter key in order to adjust this. But notice how now this tool is still live. And what that means is that means that you can click and drag in order to add another segment of your wall inside of Archipack. So notice how I'm able to quickly click and drag in order to add this. And you can just kind of mouse over the end here. Don't click on this thing and move that around because what that's going to do is that's going to move the end of the wall around and it's not what you want. What you want instead is you just kind of move your mouse up around the end and just click somewhere around the end of the wall. But notice how I'm able to quickly add these wall pieces in here just by doing this. So I can click and drag this in order to quickly create these walls. And so sometimes what you'll do is you'll accidentally click off of the wall, right? So if I right click, it'll close out of this wall. Well, that's a problem because I wasn't able to finish this. And notice how I'm not able to come back in here and click and drag again in order to adjust this wall. Well, what you need to do if you accidentally click off of the wall is you can tap the in key and you want to go up to the create function that gets added in here and you want to hold the alt key and click on wall. So I have this wall selected. Then I tap in and come over here to this menu by clicking on create. And then I just want to hold alt and click on it. Well, what that's going to do is that's going to allow me to continue this wall segment that I had in here before. And notice that you do need to make sure that you have the most up-to-date version of Archipack when you do this. So I was running an older version for some reason and this function wasn't in there. So I'm using version 2.3.3 and it's working great. And then finally, what we wanna do is we wanna close out our wall, right? So in this case, that means that I just wanna tap the C key. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna close this whole thing off. So when it closes this whole thing off, it's, it's gonna be almost like a smart feature, right? It's come in here and it's created these walls. Well, now this is a closed system. Well, the cool thing about the closed system is now you can come in here and add floors and other things like that. Right, so now let's say you wanted to add a floor slab based on these walls. Well, what you can do 
is you can select the walls by clicking on them and then go over into the Archipack functions over here and there's a little uh, there's a little wrench that you can click on well this wrench is gonna allow you to create an object based on your walls that you have selected so let's say we clicked on slab well what that's gonna do is that's gonna add a slab based on the location of these walls so you don't need to come in here and like manually add the floor you can actually use this to quickly add floors and slabs and other things like that so notice how for example this wood floor gets added based on these wall locations without you having to come in here and do all that manually. And so that gets really cool too because you can add things like roofs really quickly. So let's select a roof option right here. It's going to ask how far you want this to overflow. And then you can just click on OK. And what that's going to do is that's going to create a roof that goes over your whole building. And so you do have to be a little bit careful with uh, how complex your shapes are when you do this, but the fact that it added this in based on that footprint so quickly is really helpful. And so then, let's say that we wanted to add some doors. We could just come in here, select the wall, and then just add a door just by clicking on our walls. And notice how these door objects get added in really easily. So again, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna select this, I'm now going to add a window. So we're just going to select this wall, set our window. And you can do that really quickly. So we could add another window over here, another one over here. Notice how it's automatically adding those cutter objects in here, the Boolean cutter objects in the wall. So you can use this to add doors and windows to your models. And so let's say you wanted to draw an interior wall inside of this model, which obviously I've made this very small, but let's say we wanted to do that. So all you're going to do is you're just going to do a shift A, go back into Archipack, and you're just going to draw a new wall. So we'll just pick an inside wall and we'll just mouse over these corner points and we'll just click and drag like this. And so notice how that wall automatically intersects with the other wall in here and cuts off so you don't have your overlap. Now I may want to drag this over maybe just a little bit like this. Um, it, it would probably be a little bit different. Um, one thing you might think about doing when you're doing this is you might think about coming in here and doing a shift click and adding vertex snapping in here. Then if you click on this wall and you click and drag, you can set it to snap to the different vertices in here as well. So that's going to make it really easy to snap to different points inside of Blender. And so right now, this is kind of extending your wall in a weird way, right? If we look at this from like a top-down standpoint, we can click and drag this over to make sure that it's aligned with this wall. And then this wall is going to act the same as any other wall, meaning you can come in here and you can add a door, and that wall as well. So that's probably the easiest way to add walls and create different floor plans inside of Blender using Archipack Pro. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought about the process. If you knew the draw wall tool was in there, I just love having the co that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Blender content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, so make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.